Hello, we're going to basically continue showing the CalMotion LAN CNC product. What I kind of wanted to show uh, in a little better, clear format is uh, how, how to view some of the FTP pages or the LAN CNC um, memory locations from your computer in your office. We're also going to talk about the remote version of the LAN CNC and show you how to use that. Um, that's an option on the LAN CNC to view basically files that are, um, you can view things um, on your computer um, or a NAS or a network attack storage that has an FTP server built into it. You can view those files from the LAN remote version at the machine. So it's basically remote access to files um, that are stored on a remote location, one single location. So if you have 10 machines, you can all view these same files that are stored on your computer, office computer, or um, some FTP server like a network attached storage or a Windows server. So what I want to kind of do first here is the ways you, you can view an FTP server that's built into Windows. This happens to be Windows 8. Uh, but I'm going to show you, basically, you type in the FTP address of your LAN CNC. It may come up and show you this. Um, this is really not necessarily usable. It's kind of more of a viewer. Um, you're not going to be able to access some of these files. You may be able to grab and drop files from here. But what we really want to do is uh, read this here, Alt View, and you uh, open the FTP site and File Explorer. So you go to View and you say open FTP site in File Explorer. And what it's gonna show is we're really kind of more of a, a drive looking format, which is, um, you know, gives you a little more access to, you can copy these files some elsewhere, like to the desktop. And so if I go to the desktop, then now that file's here. So when the file's here, now you can edit it in uh, Notepad or something like that. Um, and then when you make your change um, to the file, let's say I delete, delete a line, um, I can now save that and then bring that back and drop it back into my FTP site. Um, so I can dry, uh, copy that back and now that's going to now show up uh, on the LAN CNC device that's at 103, um, this address. But a little easier, if you want to name things, that's kind of what I want to show you here, is how you name some of the FTP sites or the LAN devices. You do that in your file explorer. Um, so with the folder here, you right click on network and you say map network drive. Under map network drive, there'll be this little statement down here, connect to a website um, that stores things, documents. So once you click this wizard, you'll click next, choose a custom network location. Um, you see FTP is here listed. And at this point, you type in the FTP address that your LAN CNC is set up as. And in this example, it's uh, this address, and the, 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 the last address number is 103. Um, so what's nice here, uh, I made a mistake here, you have to view these samples. So you need this slash slash, good example in the video. So now it'll say log in anonymously. We do allow passwords, um, but the standard setting on the INI is not to have a password. If you need passwords, um, you can add passwords. You put in the INI user equals the name, and then password equals the password, and it has to be an uppercase. So we're doing it anonymously. So what's nice here is that uh, rather than using just uh, some ambiguous number here, you can actually give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to call this office. So this will be my office um, um, address. Um, actually, I take that back. I'm going to call it this is my LAN CNC, so I'm going to call this um, CNC um, mill one, and then I say next. All right. So now, um, when I finish, what's nice is now this under my network places, I should have a uh, that to show up. Oh, here it is. So under network places uh, down here, it's not going to be in this list in Windows. In Windows XP, it typically shows up here, um, but I guess on Windows 8, it shows up down here in other locations. So, um, so when you click, uh, I guess this PC, it'll show network locations. 
Um, so I don't know why it doesn't show up in this list here. But all right. Oh, here it's under this PC. So that's what's a little different. So each window is maybe a little different. Um, you can see there's a little earth here. That means it's it's an FTP site. Um, so um, and it acts like an FTP site. So but when you click it, um, it has a name, but it also is really it's it's going to that address. 103 if I look at my properties, but it gives it a name so you can name things so your mills um, that have the land CNC So these files are basically out at the machine So as I edit them I can bring them in and out of uh, This land device that's out at the machine and when I finish and I can edit things I can copy them back So that makes it really convenient. You can have all your machines listed here in a convenient location Okay, so in the last segment there, we added our CNC mill that has a LAN CNC on it, and we called it a CNC mill one here in this PC. What I also want to show you is about our remote LAN option. The remote LAN option is at this mill, I will be able to view any FTP server running on the network, whether you add a server on your own office PC, or you can have what's called a network attached storage. And I'll show you a picture of that um, uh, now. Basically, a network attached storage is uh, a hard drive that has built-in FTP capabilities to be a server. So in this case, I'm going to add from, that I can access from this office computer um, that FTP server. So I can actually see that from my office. And then we'll also go out to the machine and show that you can access the same data at the machine that's in the office or in uh, on that network attached storage. So we're gonna do the same thing, map a drive, connect to a website, and click next, custom location. And so the address of this FTP site is uh, ends in 149. Um, it's a um, ready NAS by Linksys. Um, also has a, so we'll call this NAS, um, uh, average chat storage um, server. All right, so um, this will now show up. And so here's these files that I'll be able to access um, out at the machine. They happen to be in the office uh, running on the server. Um, it's a 500 gigabyte server. So you can have lots of files. What's, what's nice about this, what you can do on the remote server, is I'll show you how to do that a little bit later, is that you can create folders that your LAN CNC remote um, can have access to. So if you wanna have your machines that um, only run Fidel programs, then you can point those LAN CNC remote devices to this location. Uh, so they only see the Fidel programs. If you have hoses that have a LAN CNC remote and you only want to point them to files in this folder, you can do the same thing. So they would only see the files that are in this HAS file. So what's nice about the LAN CNC remote is that from the machine you can load or save files out of this actual directory that's running on the network attached storage in the office. Um, you can load or save things from that machine and save them into this directory so everyone gets to use and modify if you want them to the same files so you basically have this pool of information so that everyone doesn't have miscellaneous files on each machine each LAN CNC they instead pull things from a particular location so that's what the remote version of our LAN CNC product does um, it kind of organizes the data um, so this is, of course, uh, the NAS storage. If I look over here at the mill, now we're looking at the, the mill we call it CNC1 mill, and it has its own data. Um, and so basically, I'll now go and show you the LAN CNC uh, remote on this CNC mill, and I'll show you how from that device you'll be able to see not only this information, but you'll also be able to see the data under this FTP server, um, and we'll pick and we'll, we'll only display maybe one of these directories so that we'll only view 
um, from that LAN CNC remote this Haas directory, let's say in an example. Okay, so what we have here, we're really in the office, but we're, we're going to call this a CNC mill one like we did on the PC. Um, so this is a LAN CNC remote. This mounts on the machine pendant. Um, what's different from the standard LAN is that you get this extra next menu, which gives you some other things to manage files that are on the server and things. Um, uh, that's really kind of what's different. The other thing that's different is you have access to other servers that show up in the list here. Um, uh, right now we're viewing the SD card, the SD card that's on the uh, LAN CNC remote back here. Um, but you can switch to other uh, remote things. In this case, the NAS or the Network Attached Storage FTP server. So if I select that, it's now viewing the NAS server. The NAS server is not here at the machine. Um, it's instead uh, in the office on the Network Attached 500 gigabyte hard drive. And in this case, um, we're viewing the three files. So if I look at the, um, in the office, um, looking at the, the hard drives. I'm looking at, and here it is, the NAS server. So when I click that, um, it shows the NAS server, but I pointed, and I'll show how to do this, to this uh, same, uh, we call it the Haas directory. So these are all Haas files that we'll be using. So I'm viewing these on the network attached storage that I'm in the office with. And if I go back out to the machine and I look at this, I can see the same exact files. So if I had another file that I wanted to uh, have access out at the machine, um, so let's just make a new file. I'll do some random file. It's called new program uh, prog. And if I take that new program I made in the office and I load it and copy it to the NAS network attached storage, um, and it's going to show up in the network attached storage here, but out at the machine, the operator can do the same thing. The operator will be able to go back and view the network attached storage and now view that file also. He will now have access to that new program. It's now popped up at this CNC mill, number one. So he's remotely viewing the network attached storage that we copied a new file in from the office here. Uh, and now the operator has access to it. But the operator can now take that file and then now send that file to the CNC. It, or the operator can drip feed that same file from the server. It doesn't have to be local at the machine. He's actually DNCing it from the FTP server. So he's DNCing it from FTP NAS. And he actually starts sending that out the machine. So now it's going to show up on his machine and he can run files. So another thing what he can do is if he wants to now save something that's on the mill, mill's memory, and he wants to save it into the server um, so that everyone can have access to what he had changed or made, he would basically say from CNC to file, he's going to take it out of the Haas memory, load it into the LAN CNC device remote, He's going to select here. We're just going to simulate this. It's not really, we're not really doing anything. So we're going to basically save a file called CNC1 text to the FTP NAS, the network of dead storage. So we're going to start this, and it would load it from the Haas memory. And so when it's done, it's going to be done. And now if I come over here and I refresh this, this screen, um, I refresh it and I should now see my CNC1. So in the office, from the Haas out, or the CNC mill one, I received a file from the CNC and now it shows up on the NAS net network touch storage in the Haas directory and now everyone can use it. So if I had several LAN CNC remotes on each of my machines, someone else can do the same thing they can now access the same exact file and use it for themselves. And that's the power of the LAN CNC remote. Um, so how this works is it's an option on the LAN CNC. Um, basically, it, it, you'll be using, including the LAN CNC INI file, you'll have this other directory or INI file you called servers. And in here, you basically put all the servers you want to add 
and here's that Haas directory. So this is where we want it to start. So this is where um, if you have particular machines like a Fanex or Fidel's or Haas's, you can make separate directories on the um, on the FTP server. So if I look at the uh, NAS server, so on this NAS server, I can make a bunch of directories that have specific things or specific machine groups that they would only access those files in that directory. So I can then make um, several different names. I can repeat things down here using the same IP and give it like Fidel or Fana. Okay, so as an example, we're going to now create a Fidel directory that only Fidel LAN CNC remotes would be able to view. Um, we'll, we'll edit that INI. We then save that INI onto the Fidel LAN CNC remote device. Um, we now will make a directory in the um, on the NAS server, um, and we're going to call that directory or the folder Fidel. Um, and we're going to go ahead and copy that into this uh, uh, NAS server. So now uh, that NAS server has a folder called Fidel. So on the CNC mill, which now is going to be accessing Fidel files, um, we would now select the same thing. But now it's going to basically be empty because we just created that on here. So this is an empty directory. So now um, let's say we wanted to now save a file on the Fidel and we wanted to um, we wanted to actually um, uh, have access to that on the FTP server. Uh, we would simulate that. We were going to uh, not save it to SD cards. We want to save instead. We want to save uh, it to the NAS server. Okay. So we're going to save a file from the Fidel's memory and uh, we're going to use the next CNC one. It's going to pick a name for us. So we'll go ahead and start. So now we're loading something from the Fidel's memory called CNC one text onto the FTP NAS server. Uh, so we're done saving that. So now we are going to view the NAS server and we're going to update that. And there's the file that we just saved from the Fidel and I would be able to view it. Um, so um, if I wanted to, from the office, drag and drop something new into the Fidel's location, I could do that. And then over here at the machine that's pointing to the, uh, for the Fidel files, I can now use that same file, new program, at the Fidel. So I could click the NAS server, and I would now have the ability to use the new program. And there it is. So that's the power of the remote LAN version. You from the machine can remotely access um, FTP servers or hard drives that are in your office or even your office computer if you run an FTP server. Um, but you can basically pool files together so that machine types can all access the same files like Fidel's or Hawes or Fanooks. But the other advantage is that from the machine you can access the files without actually having to have it uh, actually local at the machine's SD card. You can still do that, but with the LAN CNC remote, you can actually access files remotely.